Notorious killers who will have hoped for a very different decision from the court. The sentencing of the men who murdered Drummer Lee Rigby in Woolwich two years ago had been put on hold pending this ruling. A judge's words now mean that for Michael Adebolajo and Michael Adebowali, life really could mean life. The court has held that the statutory scheme enacted by Parliament, which enables judges to pass whole life orders, uh, is entirely compatible with the European Convention on Human Rights. Words that the government regards as a triumph for the English courts. Well, I'm obviously pleased about today's judgment. Parliament made quite clear in 2003 that it wished uh, whole life tariffs to be available for the most heinous crimes. And that will provide the public with reassurance and also, in fact, that they are wholly in conformity with the European Convention on Human Rights. Around 50 of Britain's most infamous criminals, from child killer Ian Brady to Dale Cregan, who murdered two police officers, and Mark Bridger, who abducted and killed April Jones, are subject to whole life tariffs, which the European court attacked as unlawful, saying there was no prospect of review, a criticism that has drawn backing from perhaps an unlikely quarter. Marion Partington's sister Lucy was murdered by the serial killers Fred and Rose West. She doesn't support the notion of locking people up and throwing away the key. The thing that bothers me about this law because is that it's actually meaning that people are seen by society as not being able to change and, not, and they won't have any hope of change or being interested in by anyone in society or indeed within the whole criminal justice system. But the Court of Appeal argued there is a chance of review even for murderers convicted of the most heinous crimes. A Secretary of State has the power to intervene. It's still going to be possible for the very worst murderers to be given a whole life sentence but there is still the possibility that the Secretary of State can review somebody's term and if the Secretary of State considers it appropriate, that person may be considered for release on licence. Quelling any argument with Europe, but inevitably stirring one about whether politicians should be calling the shots on individual sentences. Michelle Clifford, Sky News.